Hey guys, welcome back and in today's tutorial we're gonna be looking at how to like uh, make a f animated flag. So let's get started. So what you need to do is delete the cube and I'm just gonna hide my camera and my lens by clicking H and uh, shift A to add in a uh, plane and I'll click 3 and I'll click R to rotate by 90 or no are to rotate by Ouch. negative 90 degrees okay that's good okay now I'm just gonna move this up a bit and scale it on the x-axis so about there will be fine I'll be tapped go into edit mode A and then control R and increase the vertices to about there okay and control R again and I'm just gonna increase them up to there okay because I didn't use subdivide because it doesn't create uh, I I thought this would be better than sub subdividing it but you can use subdivide if you want to uh, okay now since we're done that we want to go uh, out of edit mode and click on the uh, physics tab and make it a cloth and instead of okay just cut it and that will all be good I'll just this. and I'll click on self collision because then it won't go through itself and that is all good here now what I want to do is let's see I'm just gonna go in and add a uh, let's see okay I'm just gonna go to tab to go to or wait no. I'll just show you if I play this it goes all down and that's not what we want here we want it to look like a flag that's uh, moving and stuff so what we want to do is go into edit mode click one and click on and click B and box select and we're just gonna select that whole vertice folder or you can just click hold alt and select this thing here okay now what we want to do is go into the first let's click on pinning here and we don't have any vertex groups here so let's click on the vertex groups and click this plus bar here and make it group and click assign and now if we go into um which is it okay it's a uh, wheat paint okay here you'll see that this whole part is red and that's good it's very good now we go into the physics tab here and you'll see the spinning here you click on it and then you'll see group there okay and just click on the group and now we want to click shift a and add in a uh, force field which is a wind and we're just gonna click one and move that part here move it up here Update it 90 degrees. Okay, that's good. And now we want to just move this up a bit. Tab, go to edit mode. I'm just gonna move this up the side there. Oops, rotate. And it works well when it's a little bit off the thing there. So now we're just gonna make the strength to 600. 600. Okay. Now that should be good okay that's good now if we play this you'll see that this happens and that and the reason is staying up like this because we added a vertex group to this and we clicked on the pinning and group there okay so now that's pretty good here if I okay so now there's one thing and when it plays you'll see that it's kind of like blocky stuff so what you want to do is just click smooth there to make it all smooth and out okay now here we're just gonna go back here and let's click on the mass and what we want to just set that to is 0 0.020 and that's how much it weights we want it to weight less so that's how it's gonna just go all straight and stuff right so now if we go into our spring I'm just gonna set that uh, low about one and I'm just gonna send the bending the bending is like 
wrinkles the higher it is the more bigger wrinkles it will be so i'm just gonna set that to three no not three uh point three and that should be good let's see okay uh and that's good here let's just set this stuff and everything's good here and that's just uh, so now what we want to do is this thing looks like a flag but it doesn't have any like uh, pictures drawn on it like flags or something so we're just gonna add the material to this thing so what we want to do here is go into the materials slot like new and I'll just turn down the intensity that just like if it's high you'll see this shiny stuff here and we don't want it shiny so we're just gonna turn it all down to make it not look like a plasticky thing okay so now we're gonna go into let's see if everything's okay everything's fine here we'll go into the texture paint slot there and click new and instead of okay make sure this is set to image or movie uh, and then just click open and I downloaded this off Google and it just gave me the flag okay right there the flag Canadian flag there okay now what we want to do here is uh, let's try so UV let's try generated because that will maybe make it better or something now if we click render it and let me just move okay I we don't see anything this because uh, I didn't bring my what's it called yep the lamp into view so I'm just gonna click on the lamp up here and then click on the lamp property thing and go into sun to make it look more shinier and that looks good and the sky I'm just gonna set sky and it looks all good yep well you could set it to sky if you want to and it's just gonna turn it a little down here and this kind of hard to move okay and uh, or you could just go on to Google and what you could do, I'm just gonna keep it like that because it's just because of the tutorial, it's gonna take forever then if I don't. Okay, so what you could also do is, let me just get out of this, solid, okay, good, okay, so I'm just gonna click 7 and move this from there to there and I'm just gonna rotate this like that, okay, I'm just shut to that. Um, I'm gonna shift D and I'm just gonna move that over here and rotate it like this and make it like a crisscross uh, position. There. Just move this a little more. Okay, like that. That that should be good. Ah, okay. Um, it's not actually touching that, so I'm just gonna do three and I'm just gonna rotate this so that it kind of touches up there uh, okay up there and I'm just gonna make this one stand about there okay so now if we go into a rendered view we'll see too much light so I'm just gonna turn the energy down on the sun so I'm just gonna turn that to Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna turn that to down to about point two zero looks pretty good. And now what you could do is let's look at the wild hmm, okay, just going to let's just set up our our camp here. So let me just zoom in a bit here and click N and lock camera to view and I'm just gonna rotate this I'm just gonna go into solid for texture solid is fine okay just gonna go into solid and move it right there okay that's done 
just gonna try rotating this and let me just zero R R Hmm see rotate this on the X axis and nine T R Z one eighty. How that be? Hmm. So now if it plays let's just here. Now let's try it again. If it plays, it goes in that way. Okay, cool. That's better. Ah, uh, and now let's just go to our render view. Let's turn on this size to that side again. Now, if we click zero and just move this a little bit there, and let's just go to solid, okay, solid view, about there, okay, okay, let's just go to render now, and now if you go into rendered and uh, what you could do is, um, wait, uh, let me just try seeing that again. Solid view if it's all good. Okay, that looks kind of like I wanted to. And now you could just go into the rendered view here and, and then click on. I'm just gonna go up here. Under pictures and I'm just gonna name that flag. Okay. Click set diagon the sampling to be um, what is sampling here? Hmm. Well I don't see it right yet, but I will soon enough. Okay, what I could do is click render here and it just renders the picture here. And then I could just go save it or something. And you could also click on render animation, which I'm not gonna do because it will take forever. And uh, yeah, so that was basically the video. Hope you had fun and thank you for watching.